It's truly amazing to me that they would take a young kid like myself, give me multiple automatic weapons, stick me into it with the power to take life. But that's war, and I miss it. It is funny that I miss a period of my life that I hated so much when I was in it. But almost every veteran that I come across, they're in the same position. We miss the time in our life when we had somebody that would have our back. Deploying was a chance for you to make a return on the investment that had been poured into you with all the training that you've gone through up to this point in your military career. I joined to serve, I joined to fight. And putting my feet down in Iraq was a chance for me to prove all those words, to make it all real. I wanted nothing more than to be home while I was in Iraq. So why now, 10 years on, do I feel like I want nothing more than to go back? Why is it common for vets to miss being deployed? What would make me be willing to go back and face the daily tear of roadside bombs and EFPs ripping through my truck and my body for a chance for that rocket to finally find me? Why do so many vets wish to go back to this. The thing is, while you're deployed, while you're over there in a place where you could die any day, it equalizes a lot of things. War is the great equalizer. War doesn't discriminate, it doesn't care about your color of skin, about where you came from, about your status. It'll take young and old and chew them up. It doesn't matter how much money you have, who you are, where you come from, what education you have, what background you have, an IED doesn't care about those things. I long for a group of vastly different individuals coming together for a single purpose. Even if they don't want to be there, even if they don't like each other, they're still there and they're still working together for a common goal. I miss that. And I think that's why a lot of people miss the military. They miss deploying. It's been more than a decade since the last time I put on my uniform, but it's still my identity. It's always been my identity. Because when you're deployed with your squad, you knew these people would die for you, they'd kill for you, and that means a lot. There's something about training for years with the same group of people, spending your blood, sweat, and tears together for the same cause. I think what is the most intriguing part of my squad is it's a group of individuals that outside of the military, I would have never spent time with. We were so vastly different in the way we were raised and our desires and passions and what values we had in life. But we were forced to be together and we made the best of it and we became family. It was a family of misfits and jesters and I loved it. Even if I didn't believe in everything that I was being deployed for, there was a sense of value and worth of being able to be used for my country.